Alright guys, more for it, and today I'm showing to you how to make a smooth twixter. So, this is going to be really smooth. Um, I'll have an example at the end if you want to fast forward it now to just see what that looks like. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be really smooth. Uh, anyway, right, <laughs> let's shut up and get on with it. What you want to do is you want to get a clip, you want to get your clip and render it. So. I've got this one. I've been on Black Ops because I was too lazy to take it out because I was doing combat training. And what you really need is you need it to be recorded with the PVR, f recorded at 59.94 frames per second, and disabled, resampled. So, yeah, then you want to render it. File, render as. Then, um, under the file formats, when it loads up, you have got mp4 which is the fastest but you don't want to render in that WMV so uh, yeah basically you can either render in WMV but the reason I don't want you to render in mp4 is because if you've just got a clip and then it goes on to Twixter then the colours on the bit where the Twixter is it'll be all like like more contrast on it WMV just like gives it more saturation um, the quick time movie that's the only one what I think doesn't really change the colours or it's not even noticeable so if you're just rendering a bit to put in Twixter then you should use that all the time but so yeah I've already rendered something so I'll get onto it now right do is make a new composition I'm gonna make it about 20 seconds long and then just put your clip in so I rendered mine as gay because I'm hard do is put this clip into your timeline and then and the effects bar say Twix put Twixter on and then you need to change a few a couple of things a couple of things before we start going so wait as you see if you look at that there that's just horrible and watery so what you want to do is change the input frame rate to 59.94 that sorts that out so that's just fine at the moment Obviously, we haven't even put any slow motion on yet. So, another thing you want to do is go to Layer, Frame Blending, Pixel Motion, and then click this Frame Blending button here as well. Right. So after you've done all that, you click the down arrow here. Go back to the start. Um, effects, Twitch to 4.5, Output Control, and then click the Stopwatch on Speed. So, scroll back up now. What you want to do is you want to just scroll along until you be I've got it in third because it was horrible. It takes ages to load. To the bit where oh that is horrible that quite bit where you just gonna pull the magazine out of the gun so about there. So then you want to click this button here which makes a keyframe. Go a frame forward and change the speed to about one or two on I'm just going to put 1.5 then you want to drag it about to there you can see that's really smooth and then make another one so click that button again go a frame forward so that bit button there basically is next frame then change the speed to 100 so as you see the clips ended there basically which isn't what we want so you want to go to layer time enable time remapping so that means you can drag it out and the Twixter will just like sort of carry on if you well you'll see what I mean so then another point is obviously you're not going to be doing a bit you're not going to be rendering this probably you're not going to be using an AK where it's reloading like this you'll just be doing after someone did a triple or something someone scoping in so but this is just an example to show how smooth it can really be so yeah now what you're going to do is make another keyframe about there where you just have to put the magazine back in scroll down a bit next frame change it to about one go forward about three seconds so it's nearly the keyframe you always need to add a keyframe otherwise the twixter if you don't then from there to there it'll just gradually get to 100 or so yeah then you want to do another one where he's gonna put his hand like there so yeah make another keyframe there put it to one go about three seconds on and make another keyframe 
and put it to 100 so yeah if you haven't yet seen what you can do then just go to the end of the video um, there's an example there how smooth you can really get it um, so yeah I hope this helped um, that's about it really bye